What is going on guys, my name is Forge here on this channel, Mr. Supply Drops. Today I wanted to make a video talking about this forgotten battle royale map in Call of Duty and why we need to see it return in Warzone sometime in the future. And that map is the blackout map from Black Ops 4. This is the map that is absolutely fantastic, man. I love this map so much. It is definitely my favorite battle royale map out of any sort of Call of Duty battle royale. Uh, it is just the best one. It's honestly, in my opinion, the only really good one. People like Verdansk, that's cool. I'm not a huge fan of Verdansk, and I'm talking about the big main uh, maps. I'm not talking about like Rebirth Island or whatever, um, or Fortune's Keep. I'm talking about the main full-size maps. I think that the blackout map would be fantastic fantastic to see in Warzone at some point because this map was just so rich of character and uniqueness. Is uniqueness a word? I don't know, but it's going to be today because I absolutely love this map and I wish that the actual game mode was more interesting to me. I was never a huge fan of Blackout, but I loved the map. The map was fantastic and the reason for it is because there was all of these returning maps as POIs scattered around the map. There was, of course, brand new ones as well, so it was a nice mix match of all this brand new stuff and all this classic returning stuff and then as the seasons progressed in the game, they added some more returning stuff as well uh, that we'll get into in a second. It was really awesome to see. I mean, when it, the game first dropped, we had the Nuketown Island, man. The island where you go and it's just Nuketown everywhere. It's like what you see when you look outside the map of Nuketown, but you can actually run around it. You can actually go and explore. You can actually fight in that, and then you can leave the island. And then when you turn the corner, you go a little bit further down. What is this? This is the Transit Diner, man. You can actually see a part of Transit, which is so awesome to see because they have not added Transit transit into anything else. Uh, this is like the only little bit of official transit remaster we've ever seen as far as I'm aware. So, you know, and then of course, if you go down a little further, what's this? Hijacked? You could take a helicopter and actually land on hijacked, or you could just get into a boat and drive that shit right back to the goddamn island so that you can get off of hijacked if you spawned on there. Like it's fantastic and it's something that you could never do in any call of duty previously and still to this day it's something you can't do in any call of duty currently and then also of course we got raid we got firing range which is awesome of course because they also extended these maps it wasn't just like the original maps and that was it no they extended it a little bit and gave them a little bit more more stuff that they couldn't do with a regular 6v6 map but they could do here because of the big battle royale map they also have returning zombie maps which is so cool to see and this is something that i love about the treyarch game Games, man like they oh man, I wish that they did this with Warzone when Cold War was a thing they just did not do that we didn't get in any sort of official Treyarch specific map for Warzone uh, I honestly think that it would have been amazing assuming it was actually like this where it was returning POIs and stuff they did some great stuff with this is all I'm saying man one of the maps of course was Verrucked you could go over to Verrucked and it's just it's as creepy as it was in World at War. Okay, not exactly, but it was still pretty creepy to see. And I'm pretty sure if you actually play the game, I can't do that. I had to record all this in a custom game because, of course, it's completely dead on PC, so I can't just play an actual game. But if you actually play a regular game, zombies can spawn here and you can shoot them and stuff. And I'm pretty sure they added in the song Easter Egg in the toilet in Verrucked as well. Like, there's attention to detail in there that they just don't do in Warzone or anything like that nowadays, man. Then a couple seasons later, they added this. What is this? What is this? Oh, it's Standoff from Black Ops 2 in it like a desert cowboy theme. Looks really awesome. And you just go in through it. You can just pick up your items, your loot. You can go run around this place. Uh, and then if you, uh, you go into the main building here in Standoff, uh, there's like a downstairs area. What, what's this? This is new. You walk down the ramp. What's this? It's buried from Black Ops 2 as well. 
that is fantastic to me. First of all, that is the only time we've ever seen an official buried remaster. And I don't know if we'll ever see one. I'm sure we will eventually, but for now, we have not seen one. This is the closest we've gotten to seeing what buried remastered will look like. And man, it looks awesome. I love the attention to detail. I just love how much they seem like they actually cared about this map. And it's a damn shame that it's just being left on Black Ops 4, a game that is completely dead. Now, maybe it's not so dead on PlayStation or Xbox, but from what I've seen, I've seen some videos recently of people playing Black Ops 4 again, and even on console, it's not very populated compared to what it could be if it, if it was in Warzone as an additional map. Now, how would they add this? Because, of course, we're getting a brand new map with Modern Warfare 3, and they're also bringing back Rebirth Island and Fortune's Keep in 2024. Not to mention, it really wouldn't make sense to release it during a Sledgehammer game-esque time, even though then again, Sledgehammer is releasing their game with MW2 Infinity Ward maps, original Infinity Ward, not the current Infinity Ward, of course. You know, we don't we don't talk about a current Infinity Ward. Um, but either way, I think that it would make the most sense if they actually release this stuff when the next Call of Duty from Treyarch comes out. So Black Ops Gulf War is the rumored name currently. So if that's actually what comes out, Black Ops Gulf War, then they drop it maybe in 2025, early 2025. Similar to how they're releasing Rebirth and Fortune's Keep again, we'll bring back this map as well as, uh, I don't know, in Season 2 or Season 3 or something as some sort of extra content for that season. I think that would be amazing to see. I'm sure they'll add some sort of brand new map next year for that Call of Duty map, but I mean, I'm just saying add this as an additional map. I'm not saying to replace some brand new map, because of course everyone wants a brand new map all, all the time. Who doesn't? Like, we want new content, but coming from someone who does not play Warzone currently, because I'm just not huge into the whole Battle Royale stuff when it comes to Call of Duty, I'm mostly a, a traditional multiplayer type person who likes to just, you know, play my respawn mode 6v6, grind some shipment now nowadays because all the maps are usually pretty bad but that won't be the case with Modern Warfare 3 because Modern Warfare 3 has all remastered maps which is going to be amazing to play but I think that this would in fact bring me back to Warzone at least for a while man I think that that would be so awesome to see and how hard can it really be I mean I guess they'd have to actually port it to the new engine and it wouldn't probably look the exact same or anything like that but as long as they tried something like this I think that would be so cool to see and it would just it would just be nice to see because of course like I said this this game is completely dead. There's no way to actually play this anymore. And I just, I really want to see it because, man, I remember having some good times, even just a couple good times. I didn't play it all that much. I'm not saying like I was sitting there grinding it. I know there was some hardcore grinders on Blackout. That was not me, man. I didn't like the armor system. The armor system really, really turned me away from this game because, of course, if you didn't know how it worked, because a lot of people didn't play it as well, but uh, the armor system was basically similar to Apex Legends, uh, but not exactly. There was tier one, tier two, and tier three. The way you got them, complete RNG, complete luck, as far as I'm aware. Maybe they changed that later on or something, but uh, from the time I played, uh, it was just complete RNG, so if you could only find, like, a Tier 1 set of armor and someone else had a Tier 3, they're just gonna tank, you're gonna die because you didn't get lucky enough. Unlike Apex Legends, where it's like you can actually grind up your shield by getting damage, and you can level up your shield going from blue to purple to red just by getting damage. There was nothing like that. There was no Evo shield, as it's called in Apex. If they had that, honestly, I think Blackout would have been a lot better also if it had cross play so I could actually have played on PC because I didn't like playing it at 80 FOV on my PS4. I wanted to play on PC at that time and it was just a, it's just a damn shame man. Imagine this map in Warzone nowadays. I would be grinding Warzone man. I know it wouldn't be exactly the same but that's fine with me because while I did have a couple memories I didn't have like insane amounts of nostalgia or anything like that. It's mostly just the fact that these are my favorite maps that they are combining. Like, these are some of my favorite maps from Call of Duty games over the years and they just come Bind it all into one. There's zombie maps as well, which no uh, no Warzone map has ever had a zombie POI as far as I'm aware. I could be wrong about that, but I know in like Al Mazra they have high rise and terminal. But first of all, terminal just it just doesn't feel like it. They extended it way too big. Like that airport is like trying to be a realistic airport. There's just just so many areas in that place. It's hard to even find where the original part of Terminal actually is, whereas they did some good stuff with Blackout where they had the original mode and they extended it, but not too much that it would be just like, where the hell is the original map? I want to play at that part of the map. I want to drop that place because that's going to be the most populated place, of course, because everyone's trying to go there for the nostalgic aspect. But either way, that's going to wrap up this video. What do you guys think about this? Would you like to see the Blackout map return in Warzone? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. I would love to hear what you guys have to say. And if you guys enjoyed this video a like would be greatly appreciated if you're new here and you like videos like this make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and yeah thank you guys so much for watching have a great day